Welcome to PTI, boys and girls. We will get to the World Series no-hitter in a moment, but we begin today with developing news about Kyrie Irving. Last night, the Nets and Irving released a statement with the Anti-Defamation League in which they agreed to donate $500,000 each towards, quote, causes and organizations that work to eradicate hate and intolerance in our communities, unquote. In the statement, Irving said he took responsibility for what was seen as his endorsement of an anti-Semitic book and movie, but he did not apologize, nor did he during a brief media session today. Also today, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver issued a statement calling Irving's original social media post, quote, a reckless decision, unquote, and added that he was, quote, disappointed Kyrie has not offered an unqualified apology and more specifically denounced the vile and harmful content contained in the film he chose to publicize, unquote. Silver further said he would meet with Irving in the next week. Wilbon, what do you make of these developments? Well, Tony, we'll start with the half-million-dollar donation, which will benefit someone. Those are real dollars. They will benefit someone to that effort. But, Tony, it's fraudulent in that it's just a, it's a PR effort. I mean, and, and the reason it's fraudulent is because Kyrie Irving did not, as usual, take any accountability for, in this case, his words. He never does. Now, among his words, and I listen to every word of his press conference, he said he is a guiding light. He, Kyrie Irving, a guiding light, which says to me, because he loses me there, that he's just a dangerous egomaniac. That's what he is. So he never takes accountability. He doesn't get it. He turned himself into a victim. I'm sure you heard it, too. So he's a victim, and he's a guiding light, which means there's no accountability whatsoever, and that is why Adam Silver, in part, is going to wind up talking to him, Tony. The league understands. I know the commissioner must understand what this makes everybody look like who just passes on Kyrie Irving if they do. This is a problem. Yeah. All right. So when I first heard about the donation to the ADL, I thought, well, w what is this about? He hasn't apologized. You're just throwing money at this? Yeah. You think you can get him out on the court by throwing money at, at the problem without an apology? And I, I thought, you got to be kidding, right? I I'm, Mike, this is personal for me on a lot of levels, differently than most people, because I am Semitic myself. I have watched you on the show many times say people who look like me can't go here or can't do this. <laughs> And I listen and watch with great sympathy. I know what the Holocaust was. I know that people that look like me were exterminated like rats. So I know what the extent of anti-Semitism can be, and it makes me very, very nervous and afraid in those sorts of situations. Um, I was amazed, Mike, that the League condemned anti-Semitism as hate speech, but never mentioned Kyrie Irving, who I felt endorsed That's right. that particular hate speech. Now I'm glad Adam Silver has stood up, because I thought he was acting very weakly. I'm glad he has stood up. In effect, he has called Kyrie Irving to the principal's office. I think he's given him a week, because he hopes there'll be an apology, and he won't have to do something like suspend him. But down the road, I think he's going to have to, and I'll tell you why, Mike. This is the league of Robert Sarver and the league of Donald Sterling. It is the league that is against hate on all levels. It can't just be for the owners. That's right. It's got to be for the players, That's too. right, Tony. This has a lot more... Look, Tone, I said this the first day, that Kyrie is the biggest problem. But way larger than firing Steve Nash and all this other stuff, Kyrie's the big problem with that team, that franchise. It attaches itself to the league. If the league doesn't say, no, we are not with you. The union, name him. We're not talking about all your players. We're talking about this dude who's dangerous because he's smart enough, though he's not nearly as smart as he thinks he is or nearly as literate as he thinks he is. He is a dangerous dude because he's smart enough to Tony appeal to some people and have some, some um, uh, charisma to him, strangely and, and weirdly enough. And so this is a problem the league is going to have to deal with. There's no running from it. There's no hiding from it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.